Well, critical, critical COVID-19 patients who need a ventilator may now have another option. Erica Ferrando spoke with the doctor at East Jefferson General Hospital who received new bubble helmets. So this is essentially what it looks like. This is one of 12 CPAP hoods, also called bubble helmets. East Jefferson General Hospital got in this week. The same type of technology that we use for people who have sleep apnea, uh, where they have difficulty breathing at night or they stop breathing. And so this machine, what it essentially does is it seals around your neck and it forces air into your lungs. It's a less invasive option for critical COVID-19 patients who otherwise would need to be intubated and sedated to use a ventilator. We just got this stuff. It's really, there are only a handful of sites all throughout the country that uh, have this uh, bubble helmet. It's actually something that's really never been utilized for this purpose uh, in the United States. It's used widely in Europe. Dr. Lewis Aaron CBS says East Jeff is the first hospital to receive these bubble helmets in the New Orleans area. This is a protocol that Italy has been using where they start them on this and as time goes on, if they do decline, then they move to a ventilator. But if they don't decline, then that's one less person that you have to worry about. Does it basically do the same thing that a ventilator would do? Yeah, pretty much. But he says it's with fewer complications. We can feed them liquid food through a straw. Um, they're awake. I don't have to sedate them. Here, respiratory therapists at East Jeff are testing one of the bubble helmets for quality control to hopefully start using them on patients Thursday. Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. Notre Dame Health Systems worked with care management innovations to get these bubble helmets.